Well, here we have yet more examples of state-enforced atheism violating freedom and liberty and violating separation of church and state. I did some videos proving that atheists hate and despise the separation of church and state. And I was pointed out that the video that I was, the comments were on are obviously on a video defending religious freedom, but it doesn't prove the, disprove the fact that most of the atheists commenting were against the separation of church and state and in favor of violating freedom of religion and just basic freedoms and liberties. So this is an article I got from a sermon audio about how the Chinese Communist Party, which espouses atheism, is robbing children of their religious faith, thus violating their religious freedom. So this is from the Daily Signal, the link was on Sermon Audio, and it says, How the Chinese Communist Party Robs Children of Their Religious Faith. The U.S. State, the US State Department on December 7th designated China a country of particular concern for its systematic, uh, egregious, and ongoing violations of the religious freedom of its citizens. Now keep in mind, again, communism in China is run by state-enforced atheism, so it's the direct product of atheism. Communism is the corrupt child that atheism produced. The Chinese Communist Party has right, rightfully been under scrutiny for its persecution of religious groups, including the internment of Uyghurs, Uyghurs, I don't, I don't know how you say that, but basically this Muslim population, uh, in concentration camps in uh, Ixchang, sorry, I can't, sorry if I can't pronounce these Chinese names properly, uh, and the organ harvesting of the Falun Gong practitioners, as well as for arrest and imprisonment of the followers for a reason of their of their practice, the destruction of church buildings and symbols, and the arrest or intimidation of Christians holding private Bible studies. So not only is uh, organized religion, which obviously I'm a critic of, uh, being targeted, even private, private personal things are being targeted too. This is what state atheism does. It even violates not just organized religion, which again I'm a critic of, but also personal, private Bible studies too, in a sense of having a personal one-on-one -on -one relationship with God. They don't want that either proving that atheism is a danger to freedom and liberty. Not as well exposed, however, is the persecution of China's children. In the recent, as a, at a recent event on the sidelines of the UN General Assembly's third committee session, the Jubilee campaign, together with the coordination of associations and in, individuals for freedom of conscience, uh, brought, to, brought the untold stories of Chinese children's experience of religious persecution. Now get a load of this. Atheists will say, oh, we don't have missionaries to go out and convert people to atheism. Get a load of this. The event exposed the fact that the Chinese Communist Party has utterly failed to uphold its treaty obligations under the Convention of the Rights of Child of the Child, to which China is a signatory. Signatory, whatever. While the entire religious communities have been persecuted, while entire religious communities have been persecuted in China because of their religious and spiritual beliefs, children have suffered tenfold. The government get a load of this. So that you want to talk about there's no atheist evangelist, get a load of this. The government has separated children from their parents and has threatened to beat the children if the parents do not renounce their faith. Hmm. Atheism, again, a threat to freedom and liberty. This is what happens when you let atheism take control. This is why I say, you know, name a single nation that state-enforced atheism has ever made better. It ruins everything. Sorry, just moving my wire out of the way. No, where was I? Government authorities have even threatened uh, parents of adopted children that they will forcibly take away those child and return them to the original families or put them up for adoption if the family did not give up its beliefs. Now keep in mind, atheists in America and Canada also want to ban parents from teaching their children about religion. They're no different than the atheist communists over in China. So again, proving the point that atheism is just communism, and that communism is atheism. In addition to keeping with the 2018 revised regulation, re regulations on religious affairs, and get a load of this. This is how I say that atheism violates the separation of church and state, why atheists are against it. Because without the separation of church and state, this happens. In, keeping, in addition to keeping with its 2018 revised regulations on religious affairs in China, local authorities have interrupted the, reg the regulation to ban attendance for ch all children in, at churches and other houses of worship, as well as to prohibit children from attending any religious activities, such as religious summer camps or religious instruction, such as Sunday school. And if China had separation of church and state, none of this would be possible, because the state can't interfere with the church like that. See, this is why I say separation of church and state is important, and this is why atheists hate it so much. 
Uh, David, 21 years old, a Christian, reflected on a public letter published by China, China Aid that he witnessed his father, a preacher, being hustled away for interrogation. Authorities would harass his parents and threaten David's safety in order he would say, uh, said to force my parents to give up their faith and to give up their service at the church. At the UN event, another Christian, E.L., 18 years old, stated that the government officials threatened his father, a pastor, uh, saying that they would hire men to go to E.L. school and beat him up publicly. Gotta love that. These tolerant, free-thinking atheists. Yeah, what about the, the rights to, for the religious people to think freely? Atheists don't believe in freedom of thought or free thinking. They're not really free thinkers. You know, they'll say, well, not all atheists are like that. Well, again, this is what fundamental atheism is like. So you want to say that atheism doesn't kill people? Here you go. Atheism has killed many people. And you can read the whole article. I'm not going to read the whole thing. But just proving the point that atheism is a danger to separation of church and state and religious freedom, freedom of speech, and parental rights. This proves that. So, athe and I'm a former atheist, so I can say these kind of things. Because I have no atheism. I know how ridiculous and foolish and unscientific and illogical it is. And just the fact that it flies in the face of basic reality. But... So just keep that in mind. Atheism is a danger to freedom and liberty, just like Roman Catholicism, uh, just like any other uh, cult out there, uh, like Islam or Hinduism or whatever. So may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. I actually forgot about this. Here's actually a verse of scripture I want to bring up that I forgot to bring up in the video. It's 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. Now the Lord is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. This is why state-enforced atheism or state-enforced Islam or Hinduism or Catholicism don't work. Because where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. So, I wanted to point that out. The spirit of the Lord brings liberty. The, the Bible-believing uh, Church of, of the Living God, Bible-believing Christianity brings liberty. Roman Catholicism, Hinduism, atheism, Islam, whatever, Buddhism, whatever, all bring bondage. They're not freedom. They are against freedom and liberty. So, just wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.